Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the Gym Rat World. My name's Rob and this is the only spot where you can go for fast and simple submarine reviews where I cover the ingredients for you, the price and the reviews for you all in under five minutes. Now today I'm going to be talking about this Vega Protein Supplement called Clean Protein for you. Now as always, if you feel like you want to pick up this supplement, I put a link down below for you. But other than that, let's just get right on into this review so you can figure out if this is going to be your next protein supplement or not. Alright, so first up, this is by Vega. Now Vega is a company that just brings out plant-based supplements. So they make sure that their supplements are gluten-free, non-GMO, and also vegan-friendly as well. Now they brought out this clean protein and they basically just say it's going to be a clean fuel source for you. So let's see what's inside this thing and see how this is going to fuel your body. Alright, so let's start with the protein that is in here. So obviously this isn't going to be whey protein or calcium caseinite or anything like that. They actually use a mixture of uh, hemp protein that's in here. They also use alfalfa, pumpkin seeds, and pea protein as well. So what that means for you is that you're going to get a whole bunch of vitamins in here, a whole bunch of minerals, and amino acids in here as well. Each serving, you're going to get 25 grams of protein, which is great because a lot of plant-based protein powders only give you like 15 grams or 20 grams. So if you're looking for something that's actually going to fuel your body, if you um, focus on performance, if you're a very active person, then 25 grams is a good amount to be getting. Now that's the protein that they use in here. Now as far as the excess ingredients, they do not add any sugar, but there is one gram of sugar in here that's natural. Um, also within that protein, you're going to get four grams of branch chain amino acids, which again is important if you are uh, very active, if you want to make sure that you help your body recover. Some BCAAs are pretty legit, so getting four grams is awesome. Now also as far as fat, you only get about two grams of fat. This thing's only 130 calories as well. And that means that this is a pretty much um, well-rounded plant-based protein powder that's out there. That again, it's just from natural sources. They make sure to take care of everybody who hates gluten and also hates GMOs as well. Um, but yeah, that's this supplement, that's this protein powder. Okay, so like I said, I do dig this product. I do like Vega. They seem like a pretty reputable company. That's just there for people who care about plant-based supplements, plant-based lifestyle, that sort of thing. Now, I do need to bring up one thing. Vega is definitely coming under fire. I am not a proponent of Vega. I'm not defending um, them whatsoever. I'm going to try to make this as unbiased as possible. But there's this project out there. It's called Clean Label Project. They release um, this whole sort of infographic. They release all this data that says that um, these plant-based protein powders and a bunch of other protein powders are very high in metals and very high in uh, like BPA, things like that. So um, one thing is, is that I have links down below for everything for two sites for you to go to if you want to and then obviously search more if you want. Um, but you can make up the decision on your own. But I've looked into it pretty extensively and it looks like um, there's just some missing data, okay? As far as the data that the Clean Label Project puts up there, there's no real like methodology of what they're doing or anything like that. Also, the data that they put doesn't really show what's going on. Um, but either way, you should know that they did rate that this um, Vega, like most of Vega supplements are like the worst supplements out there that provides you the most amounts of metals and things like that. All right, so I'm not saying the Clean Label Project is completely wrong on this. I'm not saying they're completely off base, but I am saying is that you gotta have your critical thinking hat on just check out the evidence, check out some articles, look into it if you do care about that sort of thing. Uh, but just look into it because there's definitely some different points of view, such as like the founder of Clean Label Project he used to be a part of NSF International, and uh, NSF International actually wrote an article um, talking about how they didn't use peer-reviewed studies, they're not showing their methodology. And I looked into a whole bunch of uh, different articles about it. I tried to uh, look into the data that Clean Label Project provides, and it's just a little, in my opinion, a little inconclusive. But again, you make up the decision on your own. Also, if you want me to do a video on it, I might do a video on the whole thing just so um, I can explain it just a little bit better than what I'm doing right now. Obviously, I'm trying to save some time with it today. But either way, you know, let's get on to reviews. This thing rates 3.7 stars out of 5 stars. And I bring up the Clean Label Project because a lot of the negative reviews are people just saying this stuff is horrible, it has metals in it, so these guys just buy it just to complain about it or they just write a review without actually trying it. So with that being said, you know, so you got to kind of take the reviews with a grain of salt. Now as far as the price on this, it is only 15 bucks 
for 30 servings, two bucks a day, every single day that you want to take this supplement. So it's not too bad for a plant-based protein powder that gives you 25 grams of uh, plant-based proteins and doesn't have a lot of excess ingredients in here as well. But either way, that's the supplement review for you. I hope I made this fast and simple. Again, I'm not saying that clean label project's wrong or anything like that. I'm not trying to stir up any craziness at all, but just saying, look into it um, for yourself, and I just wanted you to know that the Clean Label Project did label Vegas Supplements, Vegas Sports, as one of the companies that has the worst, in their eyes, the, one of the worst companies that has the highest amounts of metals in their products, all right? But other than that, appreciate your time. Thank you for stopping by, and have a good day.